All right, what is up, guys? Brian here, and this is my Lucha Underground recap for this past Wednesday night's uh, episode of Lucha Underground. I did not get a chance to do a, a recap video uh, yesterday, but I figure I give do one today and give my thoughts on this past Wednesday's episode. So let's get right into it. Uh, we started off Lucha Underground with. Um, the uh, pretty much a uh, re recap of all the events that have been taking place. Um, they would then sh uh, show uh, Dante Fox uh, jogging, uh, jo or I should say jogging outside, and uh, thinking back to his uh, when he was a POW in Afghanistan. Uh, they would then show clips of of that. Um, Basically, uh, his the people that holding him prisoner, uh, it, telling him that his friend left, making reference to a kill shot, that he's not coming back, all this stuff. Um, they would then show him show Dante Fox again jogging, and they then you would see a kill shot standing on the roof of a building. Pretty much looking down at Dante Fox and pointing at him, uh, his fingers like a gun. Um, so I I really thought that this uh, this whole thing with uh, Dante Fox and uh, showing his uh, um, history or you know the history of hi of him, I thought that was pretty good. That you know they did this. Uh, Obviously, you know Dante Fox and Killshot are are in a feud, so um, it was pretty nice. It was pretty good to see that you know give, giving uh, more uh, what's the word a glimpse into his um, into Dante Fox's history. Um, so, um, and speaking of Dante Fox, he was um, in a match on Wednesday's episode uh, as a part of the uh, Cueto Cup. And I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, speaking of the Cueto Cup, there were uh, four, the four final first round matches um, in this in the tournament. Um, the first one was PJ Black taking on Sexy Star. Of course, you know Sexy Star's history with PJ Black as well as the Worldwide Underground has been very well documented on Lucha Underground. Um, this was actually pretty good, except the ending I thought was pretty stupid. I, you know, nothing against Lucha Underground, but I thought that the ending of this matchup was actually pretty dumb because um, PJ Black would win this match, but was because um, of a disqualification because uh, Taya, uh, she would get involved, she would toss PJ Black a uh, pair of brass knuckles. Uh, Sexy Star would wind up with those brass knuck those brass knucks. She would use them on PJ Black, and the referee would turn around in just enough time to catch uh, Sexy Star. Um, hit hit PJ Black with the with the brass knucks, and would disqualify her and give the win to PJ Black. Even though sometimes in Lucha Underground they don't care about rules most of the time. It's all about, you know, Dario Cueto wanting uh, chaos. Uh, but they kind of referenced that on uh, commentary. Uh, Dario Cueto has informed the referees, had informed the referees to enforce the rules. I'm like, really? I'm like thinking to myself, really? You're gonna, now you're going to do that with this, whole, this Cueto Cup tournament? But what can you say? Um... So PJ Black advances in the Cueto Cup tournament. Um, we had the second uh, Cueto Cup match was Son of Havoc taking on Son of Madness. Um, this was actually pretty good as well. Uh, the ending, um, however, uh, was a way to keep this feud going. Uh, Son of Havoc scored the win. Uh, with a roll up on Son of Madness. Uh, afterwards, Son of Madness would hit uh, Son of Havoc with a kick, 
and that would take his cut basically that vest it's like a uh, um, if you're like in a like if you're in a club or you know something like that nature they give you a cut uh, and um, if they take your cut that means you're gone you're done um, you know I've seen it on on uh, Impact Wrestling when they did the whole Aces and Eights storyline uh, so obviously this was a way to keep the feud between Son of Havoc and Son of Madness going um, you know we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, next week with this feud um, but Son of Havoc uh, moves on in the tournament uh, in another Cueto Cup match we had Prince Puma uh, taking on Ricky Mandel uh, who uh, in this one tried to uh, tried to be like Johnny Mundo wearing the glasses wearing the bandana all that stuff uh, basically Pr uh, Prince Puma just destroyed this guy um, and uh, winning and he you know he hit uh, a different finisher uh, than he usually does um, so Prince Puma advances in that tur in the tournament uh, like I said a very different side of Prince Puma more uh, more vicious side than we have seen from Prince Puma on Lucha Underground uh, so uh, he advances uh, they did a couple of other clips like they showed um, you know they did another video uh, for Johnny Mundo and Rey Mysterio you know hyping up their title match coming up um, that was a good that I really enjoy these vi the videos that they've been doing on this matchup to really hype it up uh, speaking of uh, Rey Mysterio he met with El Dragon Azteca Jr. who is also in the Cueto Cup uh, tournament uh, El Dragon Azteca he asked Rey what are you doing here you ain't you supposed to be training he basically Rey told him that he wouldn't want he wouldn't miss uh, Dra El Dragon Azteca's return um, so um, of course El Dragon Azteca if you remember was involved in that you know war with uh, um, Dario Cueto's brother Matanza so um, that this is his first match back um, and uh, then Prince Puma would would come basically say that he hopes that he wins the tournament and that he hopes that Rey Mysterio wins the Lucha Underground title so that he can get his rematch against Rey Mysterio and this time he won't lose uh, obviously giving that um, intrigue as to you know if Prince you know because the last time Prince Puma and Rey Mysterio fought Mysterio came out on top so it kind of builds that intrigue of will Prince Puma win the tournament and will Rey Mysterio become Lucha Underground Champion um, so that was pretty much it uh, and of course the main event speaking of El Dragon Azteca Jr he took on Dante Fox in a, in a solid matchup uh, there was interference at the end uh, and um, near the end of this match as the Worldwide Underground Johnny Mundo's group um, came out they beat up on Rey Mysterio uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. would would dive out to save Rey Mysterio uh, and that was enough time for Dante Fox who was taking on El Dragon Azteca to hit the Fox catcher and uh, pick up the victory in this match uh, this one my thoughts on it was uh, I thought they were gonna do I thought they were gonna do how uh, I thought somehow Killshot would get involved in this one to cost um, Dante Fox the match like Dante did to Killshot I believe it was last week or the week before but that was not the case uh, it did have some good things with the worldwide underground attacking Rey Mysterio you know, hype it builds up more for the Mundo Mysterio match. Uh, the question now is, what is El Dragon Azteca Jr. going to do? 
with uh, knowing that his mentor uh, kind of cost him his opportunity to advance in the tournament. We'll have to wait and see next week. But um, overall, my thoughts on this ep uh, episode on Wednesday night. That was a pretty good episode. There were a couple good matches on here. Uh, you know, they really did, uh, you know, what's, you know, who's going to, uh, they kind of confirmed the matches for next week as far as the tournament is concerned. Um, it is going to be Paul London versus Mil Muertes. Taya versus Jeremiah Crane and Phoenix versus Marty the Moth Martinez. Those are the three matches set up for next week. So that should be interesting. But uh, overall, this past Wednesday's episode, I thought was actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts um, on that show from Wednesday. Uh, this has been my Lucha Underground recap for this past Wednesday night's episode. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.